best two sides in the tournament finally going head to head. What a final we have in store. Kick off next here on EA TV. Well, here we go. We've finally arrived at the big night. I'm Guy Mowbray, delighted as ever to be joined by Sue Smith for commentary. And we've got the UEFA Champions League final coming right up. It's Real Madrid and they take on Barcelona. Well, what a stage this is. Brilliant pitch, the atmosphere is electric and millions of people tuning in from around the world. I genuinely cannot wait for this. Let's hope it lives up to the billing. This is the Real Madrid starting lineup. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Eder Militao in central defence. Vinicius Junior starts with Jude Bellingham in central midfield. And the main man in attack is Erling Haaland. This is the Barcelona team sheet. Marc-Andre Tastegen is in goal. Frankie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in midfield. And leading the line is Robert Lewandowski. And it's offside. Didn't get back in time. He didn't, and he had other options here, but chose the wrong one. Sloppy this. Vinicius Junior has just about every asset you need to succeed at the very highest level. Is he going to play a prominent role in this game? Yeah, and it's his ability on the ball for me. I know it's a cliche, but it's almost as if he's got it on a string at times. He's just able to manipulate it so well, work within those tight spaces, and then can pick out the right pass or get his shot off. I'm really looking forward to watching him today. Bellingham. Barca recovering possession well. and he's finding it decent looking cross played in unable to find anyone with that underneath his body and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment cheers Jeff Messi Messi is junior Bellingham encouraging signs to the attack but it hasn't led to anything Whistle brings the first 45 minutes to a close. <laughs> Away we go then. Things can only get better from an entertainment point of view. Lewandowski. Nice possession. Is there a goal to take the lead coming? Delivered into the box. No problem at all in keeping that one out. As you can see, the stats say it all. Neither side have had enough quality in the last third. They've lacked a final pass. Hopefully this game picks up. A little bit deep with the approach now. It'll come their way soon. Haaland, moving the ball around well here. Put them ahead. Oh, really good goalkeeping there. I'm sure it's a 
only going to be a matter of time before they take the lead. We're seeing some really good attacking play from them. Just need the finish now. Frankie de Jong. And they've got it back now. Haaland. This has to be. And that's a great bit of goalkeeping. That's what he's there for. Andreas Christensen. Now De Jong. There's a chance for the breakaway here. And that's where it ends, with possession lost. Bellingham. Haaland. Weighted pass. And the work pays off as they get the ball back. Well, it was looking good, but ultimately nothing doing. Frankie Dio. On to Lewandowski. Could be a chance to win the game here, but not the end result they wanted from an encouraging position. They could get caught out on the break here. Decent chance, this. Thank you, Dion. Out of play, throwing to come. Harland, and the whistle sounds. We've got another half an hour to play. Extra time is underway. Mbappe. On to Bellingham. Modric. Rafinha. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Breaking up pace. This could be dangerous. Haaland. Now. Oh, what an opportunity to break the deadlock. Well, in the dying embers, you just wonder if we're going to see a goal here. Barca are exploiting the space on the flank. Asufati. What a chance here. And a really good bit of goalkeeping to keep that out. Messi. Well, there we are. The first half of extra time is over. minutes as we enter the second period of extra time. Ansu Fati. Oh, crucial tackle to deal with the danger. Good pressure this high up the pitch.
Perfectly anticipated. Really well won. Luka Modric. Promising move this. A goal now would surely be the winner. But able to deal with the danger decisively. Well defended. Mbappe. On to Rodrigo. Now it needs a good ball in. Bellingham. And that has stopped any potential danger. And with that, we can all get ready for the joy and pain of penalties. perfectly and clinical from the spot good penalty he's in no messing it's been saved Feeling for a goalkeeper. Good penalty right into the top corner. It's saved, and the keeper didn't have to move. And now it truly is final. And we see the two sides of sport when the biggest prizes are decided. Such contrasting scenes. Yeah, what a dramatic way to win. I think we can just about take a breath now. A brilliant achievement, though, and it's thoroughly deserved. Well, they're not going to forget this for a long, long time. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club. And on the other side, well, in time, they'll use this as a point of motivation. They've got this far, but it hurts without that one last step. Yeah, it does, and you can see the difference in emotions from both teams. You've got to feel for them losing this way, but they're being respectful, which is great to see. The celebrations in full swing. This is going to be some night. The tiredness is forgotten. Full of energy again. As the captain is the last in line and gets his hands on the cup. Oh, just listen to that atmosphere. Look how much the players are enjoying it. This is what all the hard work was for. It's a long road to win silverware at any level of the game. Lights and sounds of celebration. It's an absolute privilege to be here to see this. Oh, it is, and the fans absolutely make it, don't they? You can just see how much that they're enjoying it as well. It's a lovely touch for the players to take the trophy over to the supporters and share this moment with them. Oh, it is, and you can see that they're really into the celebrations as well. celebrating long into the night this is what it was all for definitely these are the pictures that you look at long after you finish playing